Hello, best friends. This is the bracelet we were talking about on Facebook. And um, if you saw the previous video, maybe you know that uh, I, I intended to create a necklace. But then, uh, during the work, um, I decided to change because, uh, because of the angle between, uh, among all the triangles. I saw that the beadwork was becoming very rounded. And so I decided to create uh, a, a bracelet and I, I didn't like uh, that uh, the bracelet was too thin, so I decided to make uh, a second layer of triangles on the back side. I suggest you to watch the previous video so that you can see how I started with my triangles, with my front triangles, because in the previous video you can see how. I joined the two triangles together and even how I joined the little smaller triangle between uh, the two bigger ones. What I've done here to complete my bracelet is uh, making the back triangle. First of all, since uh, I wanted to be a little bit of thickness here inside, I decided to work on peyote stitch all around my bracelet. So. You can see here this uh, silver seed bit size 15. Okay, after the seed bit size 15, I have made three rounds of peyote stitch all around the inner perimeter of my bracelet. Then I made a triangle and I saw the two triangles together. Since I didn't want my two triangles to be flat, I decided to put inside the two triangles the cellophane. And as you can see, I did not completely sew the two triangles together because here, where is the smaller triangle is placed, a piece, two pieces, two corners of the triangles, of the smaller triangle, are inside the bigger triangles. So here, and here you can see the cellophane as well, I didn't sew the two faces of the bigger triangles, okay? It's really very, very easy. It's a very easy beadwork. And I don't think this bracelet is completed yet because I really don't like the back part because uh, there is no decoration on it and you can see the difference with the front part and you can see this difference much more when you wear the bracelet so what I would like to do is or making a second decoration on the back part or another way for me maybe it will be my choice is to make a second bracelet so that I can put the two back parts face to face and in this way, I'm going to have a very thick bangle bracelet and I can have the decoration on both sides of my bangle bracelet. I like that the bangle bracelet are big, but that's just what I like. <laughs> it's not a rule. So you can do whatever you want, whatever you prefer. If you want, you can also make the bracelet without the peyote stitch rounds that I added to have more thickness. Because if you put the cellophane inside the space between the two triangles, then in this way you already have the domed effect on your bracelet, okay? But if you want to increase this domed effect, you can make the rounds of peyote stitch in the inner perimeter. What about the finding that I've decided to use to close my bracelet? I have decided to put on my bracelet a magnetized finding. And I think that's the best choice because it's really very, very easy to wear and to close if you have no one to help you to put your bracelet on your wrist. And also, I think that this kind of finding is very, very small. So in this way, there is no so much space 
between the beginning and the end of my bracelet and I didn't like it when the space of the finding is too big compared to all my creation and in this case all my triangles are very close together and so I think that the space here needs to be as smaller as possible okay and that's all. I remember to uh, know something about the front part, I suggest you to watch the other video and I will leave the link of this video in the info box uh, under this video. So for now that's all, have a nice weekend, have a nice feeling and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!